My name is Jeff Williamson. I'm a professor of medicine and chief of gerontology and geriatric medicine at Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center. These results are a part of the overall SPRINT trial and focused on a very important subgroup within SPRINT, persons over the age of 75. High blood pressure and its complications is very prevalent in this age group. Two-thirds to three-fourths of older people over the age of 75 have high blood pressure. And there's been great confusion about what should be the best systolic blood pressure target in this group. Recommendations over the past five years have uh, ranged from less than 140 to less than 150 or even less than 160. And so SPRINT was designed to answer that question um, in this population and to give better guidelines to, their, to the physicians and their patients for treatment targets for systolic blood pressure. We designed SPRINT to test whether a systolic blood pressure treatment goal of less than 120 millimeters of mercury is more effective than a systolic blood pressure goal of less than 140 millimeters of mercury in preventing the complications of hypertension. We enrolled community-dwelling older people who were able to come back and forth to their doctor. In other words, not residents who live in a nursing home or assisted living facility. We randomized 2,636 individuals to either the intensive or the standard blood pressure arm. The design of SPRINT was to follow these individuals for the incidence of stroke, heart failure, acute myocardial infarction, and death for five years. However, at just over 2.3 years, the study was stopped because individuals assigned to the intensive treatment group fared better and had a much lower risk of these outcomes than did, than did those assigned to the standard group. Individuals assigned to a target blood pressure of less than 120 millimeters of mercury had a 30 to 35 percent lower risk of stroke, myocardial infarction, congestive heart failure, and death. Individuals over the age of 75, even those who were somewhat frail, fared just as well in the intensive blood pressure arm as did those who were in the standard treatment arm. For example, those individuals with a slow gait speed experienced just as much reduction in the primary outcome as did those who were fast walkers or more healthy. It's also important to note that we found no greater risk of falls in older people over the age of 75 on the intensive therapy compared to those who were on the standard therapy. This is also a very important finding because recent literature has called into question the safety of intensive blood pressure therapy for those individuals who are older. Another important message from SPRINT is that 90% of the medications used in this study were generic. And to achieve that blood pressure goal of less than 120 versus less than 140, on average, the patients in the intensive group required only one more medication per day than those in the standard group. The findings of SPRINT are very important for, for clinicians in that they give us more clear guidance as to the best blood pressure treatment goals for older people. One thing that health systems and the medical community will need to work better on is careful and more standardized blood pressure measurement as we treat older and older patients. This is one of the reasons we believe that SPRINT results were so safe even for older people. A very important result to look for in the future is that SPRINT is also testing whether more intensive blood pressure treatment to a goal of less than 120 also reduces the risk for developing Alzheimer's disease and other dementias. These results will not be reported out until at least the end of 2017 because we continue to follow the participants for these outcomes.